Another type of proteinuria is the overflow proteinuria. Now, in here, we are to talk about what the causes, etiology, or causes of what overflow proteinuria. So, first of all, I'll be defining what overflow proteinuria is before we now go to the causes, because it's good to actually know the definition, know what you're talking about before you even talk about the causes. Now, overflow proteinuria is what increased production of proteins is due to what increased production of proteins, okay? And this can saturate the reabsorptive channels in the proximal convoluted tubules. So now, there's too much protein that is now overwhelming the absorption ability of the tubules, okay? So the renal tubules are meant to reabsorb some low molecular weight proteins that can be filtered inside here but if the low molecular weight proteins are too much now it's now overwhelm the tubules right so now this can lead to what some of the proteins overflowing down into urine that's overflow proteinuria now overflow proteinuria occurs when the plasma concentration of low molecular weight proteins goes beyond the tubular capacity to reabsorb them now quickly talking about the causes it could be due to what monoclonal gammopathies. It could be due to what? Myeloma. It could be due to what? Light chain diseases. It could be due to what? Amyloidosis. It could be due to what? Hemoglobinuria. Can also occur due to what? Myoglobinuria. That's what? Myoglobin found in urine. Hemoglobin, you realize what hemoglobin found in urine. Okay, so all of these conditions just that I listed can be possible causes of what overflow protein. Yeah.